Um, walking down the aisle, you looked absolutely stunning, um, and you still do. Um, <laughs> but yeah, cheers. Um, you know, but it's six and a half years of of just love. It's been amazing. You know, travelling up to Derby every week when you was at uni and buying a house together, and now we're expecting our, our daughter. It's just, just amazing. So, thank you. Um, I, I don't really know what else to say, to be honest. Mm -hmm. I just, Thanks. Thanks. Yeah, Thanks. Yes. Um, if everyone could, could stand this time. To Ruth. 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 I love you. I love you. I love you too, Ruth. I to one another in the presence of your family and friends here today. You have given and received rings as a further commitment to each other and your future lives together. So let the world recognise you are now a married couple. May you treasure this trust and responsibility. May no fault, failure or misfortune ever part you. And may you live full, rich, more importantly for myself and Debbie, very very happy lives together. Thank you. So it gives me the greatest yeah. pleasure to declare you are now husband and wife and you may kiss your bride and best man. Uh, we've been best mates since we were 11 and partnered with each family ever since. Uh, I've got plenty of stories that involve George, uh, but I think these possibly are ones he won't wince too hard at. Uh, and my, my, my favourite memories, to be honest, are when we finished school um, and when we were about 15, 16 that summer. Uh, yeah. So we just finished high school um, and we decided this uh, 
for some reason, big chance to put a touch into the world. Uh, yeah, so we came up with a few ideas at the time. Uh, George, where he was working, where he later met Ruth, uh, at a pub, as a waiter, I need to add. Although you did keep telling me you're a sous chef, so I'm not. <laughs> So he kept, he kept saying, right, I'm going to apply my trade. Um, so we need, we need to do something with food. So as you may, I obliged. So his wonderful idea was a noodle bar. Yes, it was. It's the detailed, as, yeah. Um, yeah, so uh, obviously I, I obliged being your mate. I, you cooked me a lot of noodles in that time, so I couldn't really, re couldn't really complain. Um, but when we decided to go ahead, we realised we'd actually run out of money to buy any more noodles, let alone set up a shop. <laughs> uh, we were 15 doing naff all. So, um, yeah, so we decided to go to our next idea, which was, for s I don't know why, YouTube. <laughs> <coughs> we we, yeah, we, we started a channel thinking people would care. <laughs> uh, I mean, we did one video. Uh, I think we went to the ball ring and like Burton was like your Gucci at the time for us. <laughs> so we went round and that's all we did. We videoed, I mean, like, you know, you're walking down the, the escalators and it sped up. We, we thought we was the bollocks to be fair. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, so yeah, we posted it in the hopes that we'd get thousands of likes uh, and obviously refreshed it and it only went up one every time for some reason. <laughs> so I'm not really sure why that happened. <laughs> yeah, possibly. Uh, of course, we did have one fan, though, uh, a girl from Mexico, uh, who I believe told you she, well, she head over heels. Yeah, no, that's the wrong side of the world. So. Well, yeah. <laughs> um, but I'm not sure you did reply, but you, well, so you say. I'm not sure you ever did reply. Uh, but yeah, we, we realised, well, I think George realised after people from the other side of the world could see his British award-winning outstanding monobrow of cherish and care for her throughout your marriage in a way that she deserves and expects. Um, I, like, I like to think as well as now having a fantastic son-in-law, I've also now got a fully qualified in-house electrician. I just hope now that Jordan will perhaps stop charging me the full commercial rate. Plus VAT. And uh, yes, mate, mate, mate's rates. Um, can we discuss it later. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Ruth and Jordan, I've I've really always admired the way you do things together. Uh, once you set your heart on something, you plan it together, and the next thing we know, it's all it's all planned and sorted. I really do admire you for that. Um, I wish I was so decisive in the things that I do, but uh, I really do admire that. There's several examples of this during your courtship. Um, the one that springs to mind is when you decided that you'd like to buy a house together. And it seemed in no time at all you had identified the development you wanted to live at locally. Um, you know, reserved the plot, sorted the mortgage out, and it was all sort of good to go. Um, I trust and know that you will keep this going throughout your marriage um, and it would help you both fulfill your heart's desires together. Now, some of you may have noticed Ruth's tummy. Perhaps not. No, this isn't a result of eating too many of the cakes I mentioned earlier. <laughs> But uh, Ruth and George, in fact, expecting their first child in January. So, 
some, something that we're really delighted about and we know you'll make just great parents. Um, and it's something really to look forward to in the months ahead. Can I say, say what's the name? Okay, so, I mean, it's all over Facebook anyway. So, it's a baby girl, baby girl, so really Daughter. looking forward to it. Yeah. Daughter. So um, it just leaves me to please ask you to raise a glass to toast Ruth and Jordan and the new Mr. and Mrs. Thompson. I'll be honest with you, I'm hopeful for a little bit of dancing.